Okay, so here's the little setup I have, Patrick. So you can barely hear the motor turning, but I'm just advancing the motor like about, oh, I don't know how many counts, but here I have the, I'm pretty sure this is the brake, this is the PWM, and this is the direction. And those are in 9, 10, and 11. And then over here on the ground, and I get my 5 volts on the ground and the plus 5. And over here on the power supply, which is right here, I have this one set like around 24 volts. And that's going into this, this pin right here. I just have that one offline. Let's see, what's that, the orange? Something like that. Anyways, that's the setup. Really pretty simple. Every two seconds, I advance it. And then when it gets to 2,000 counts, I supposedly break it. And here's the, here's the um, screenshot as it's kind of going along and you'll see that the DT shows me how long it takes to get there 908 this is the count right at the 908 which you'll notice is right at the 2000 and this is a count after you waited a little bit so it settled a little bit so that's 2022 so we got a little bit of an overshoot and um, that's pretty much it Patrick so if you look if you look at the program um, I put that in the Dropbox, and I can. Uh, it's the. I think it's the H24 Nidec Motor Servo Rev One is the one that I'm running right now. So, um, the next interesting thing would be to try and get the the counter, the encoder stuff into the interrupt. I do not have that. I just have it circulating through the program. Okay, talk to you when I get back.